Pinterest quiz ads is an ad format that's only available on mobile devices. When a user is searching, browsing, looking to save pins, an advertiser can ask a question. And based upon how that user answers, the advertiser can show customized result pins to have the user further engage with the content they like to see. So in this video, we will show you which ad objectives can use quiz ads. Then we'll show you the three main parts that you need to create in order to get them running. Now, in most channels, when we're talking about launching a new ad, creating a new campaign, we just go straight into the campaign builder. Pinterest is a little different, especially for these quiz ads, because first I would want to create the pins that are needed for the ads. To do that, click on the menu in your ad account overview, open it up, and we can start creating a pin. See the warning right here? We're creating an organic pin first, and then it can be turned into an ad. This is assuming that you're starting from scratch. It's quite possible that you already have the pins that you would like to use created, and you would be able to do that in the ad creation. But let's start creating a pin. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go over any image best practices or anything because I have to use the Pay Media Pro's Pinterest channel, and we really only use it for videos. So we're going to have to use our imaginations and play along a little bit. So let's pretend Michelle and I have some sort of lifestyle brand. And if you know our personalities, extremely laughable. So I wouldn't put these pins in any of our other previous examples. I can create a new board. Okay, I'll create the new board and then I can start building my first pin. The first pin that you need for a quiz ad to work is going to be a title pin. So first I'm just gonna drop in an image. I told you I wasn't really gonna follow specs, just something I can easily pull with some AI images. I'm gonna add a title for a pin, that'll do. And then I'm gonna add a description, whatever, something basic and plain here. And then you'll need to add a destination link. Yes, I know, doesn't make sense, but that's fine. Now, if you're wondering about a call to action, that'll be set up when we actually go and create the campaign. Right now, we're just focused on the pin. If I click on this plus button, I can continue to create more pins, which we need to do. That is because initially someone will see your title pin, what we have below. Then they'll see the question and answers. And then based upon their answers, there will be a results pin. So think of a multiple choice question, letting users select their answer. Well, depending on what they chose as their answer, you may want to recommend a different pin for each of the selections. I'm not going to force you to watch me create all these result pins. We're going to use some magic of editing and jump through each one, but it's all going to tie back into the title pin. I'm talking about ideas for hosting your kid's birthday at home. Here's an option for cakes. I'm going to create another pin. Here's another result pin for food options. Let's just do one more. One more corny description, this time about party decorations. Okay, so now we have these four pins. One is planning on being my title pin. The three are going to be my result pins. I could publish individually, or if I just click on one of these circles, that's a checkbox. I can just go down, highlight all of them, and then go up to publish. Understand, remember I created that party board? These are all going to be published organically first. We're good there. I'm heading back to my main dashboard. And now I'm going to start creating our quiz ads campaign. As of right now, we always want to select manual campaign that we can get started. And Pinterest quiz ads are only available within two campaign objectives. The first one, which was already highlighted for me, is consideration. The other option would be brand awareness. If you stick with consideration, the goal here is to have much more people engage with your quiz. You're going to be optimizing for clicks here. For brand awareness, you can optimize for engagement but impressions is really gonna be the focus. And Pinterest even states when you choose brand awareness, your quiz completion rate will be much lower. So I'm gonna stick with consideration, but it's totally up to you. And really, as we start going down, it's very similar to any campaign creation within Pinterest. So we'll just select our budget. I'm gonna choose fixed daily. There's a small ad schedule. I'm really gonna to try to fly through this as much as possible, but here I'm gonna name my ad group. I'm gonna choose my own targeting strategy. I'm gonna find some interests. Let's do some basic parenting ones. Okay, whatever. I just picked some parenting options with younger kids. It's just gonna fit the pins. I can update the demographics, the ages, the language, devices. There's some placement options. Keep scrolling down. And then next we can select the pins for the ad. There are all my party pins. I'm gonna select them all. Okay, I'm gonna add these four. And then if we scroll down, here's where it asks to choose the format. I know it probably seems weird like do I not have that feature yet? Nope, you have to select your pins first, add them to the campaign, then we'll choose the quiz ad format. Have your ad name. There we see the call to action that I mentioned earlier. It's available within the ad. Notice that they're all fixed. 
These are the options. Everything you see in the drop down, you cannot create your own. So just choose your option and then let's add a quiz. Okay, I have the name down and now we see in the drop down, you have the option to ask two questions. And for each question, you can either have two answers or three answers. I'll just stick with two and two to make it easy. Then you have to click on this questions and answers drop down. And I'm gonna see if I can open up both at the same time to show you. Nope, okay. Well, it's gonna be the same, but it's set up a little weird. Let me show you by filling out the questions. Maybe that's one. I know it's worded funny. Just work with me here. Here's the second one. So look at both of these questions. Whatever someone answers for result A in either of these will select one pin. Whatever someone answers for result B for either of these will be sent to another pin. Let me finish this and then I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so for question one and question two, see how it's kind of mixing the two questions together? Your result pins are based upon the answers, not the question. So for someone who doesn't care about the cost, they wanna make everything, well, easy to make at home cakes. Give them ideas, they have the time, they wanna put in the effort, I'll show them that option. If someone is more on a budget, wants to buy from home, maybe I could use the food, but in my description for this one, I said something along the lines of coming up with festive decorations that'll take less time to clean up than actually putting on the party. And then you can update the URLs, add two of four. No, that's okay. Getting rid of the options there, but understand that we could add more. Scrolling back up, remember, this is my title pin. So I did not ignore that one. That one will still be here. These are my result pins. And then we can publish. Okay, and now the campaign is live. And then there's a few ways that you can look at results. Fine, this little pen pencil icon. And then you can scroll down to engagement. Towards the bottom of the engagement section, there's option for completed quiz, quiz completion rate. And of course you can add your other engagement metrics, pin clicks, all that other stuff. So if I save it here, there's some quiz columns that you can add to review the results. You can also go to your ads tab. And then when you're looking at targeting breakdown, you can look at quiz result. And then just like how you can break down information in Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, it'll have a separate row based upon the questions and answers that you had within the quiz. So hopefully you can kind of see how quizzes can be used in multiple ways. Yes, of course, you're building awareness. You're hopefully driving more traffic to your pins. You're getting more engagement on your pins. You have relevant images and URLs associated with those pins that could drive traffic back to your website. Besides that, depending on the quiz results, you may also get very valuable feedback on what type of content your audience, or in this case, our target audience, if it's brand new, likes to look at. So for my example, if I got much more people interested over the cake decorating versus the party decorations, then maybe I wanna come up with much more content, many more images to test around cake decorating, cakes at birthday parties, whatever. Because Michelle and I can relate. With all the YouTube videos that we create, we run out of ideas. And to get feedback directly from users on what they wanna see really helps us out. So as marketers, influencers, whatever, I'm sure you would welcome that feedback too. But that's how you can create quiz ads within Pinterest. And if you've tested them out already, we'd like to know the results. So share what you've seen in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.